Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics for May 15th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And this is kind of, the, can we call it a video blog, audio blog? Uh, I converted my blog at Sorgatron.com into this a little bit ago. Of course, I still now I'm doing, I'm coming back to writing with our weekly newsletter that you, you can subscribe to over there, which is really more trying to keep an inside baseball and let you guys learn a little bit about what my thoughts and what I'm using around here in social media and video. But uh, today I'm going to, I want to warn you, little bit of a cord cutter rant so there's that uh please check out uh, sorgatron.com sorgatronmedia.com we have so many uh so many new things going on so many great stories i'm talking with the guy from clamor today an awesome cast uh, for the awesome chat that's going to be releasing here in a few hours and uh and, the guy, and they're coming out of woodwork i i didn't realize when i launched something that uh, it would be so easy to find guests for a project like this, and it just makes sense. It just the opportunities just are presenting themselves, and it's so fantastic. Until it drives out, then I'll be like, "Why am I doing this show?" I'm sure, but uh, but again, I want to talk about core cutting now. Uh, a little bit of background, and I know I've probably talked about this a good bit on this show, or I've blogged about it, I've, I've talked about it on Awesome Cast and Movie Minute, of course. But uh, I have been a cord cutter for probably well over five years now. It was uh, at the point kind of a cost cutting measure, and it's like, well, let's see what we can do this. And it was a lot harder to do back then. Plus, just noticing, like, why are we paying for this cable when we're uh, getting these Netflix, Netflix, this Netflix discs, and really just doing that? It was the schedule started going crazy, you know. So I'm like, well, there's no reason to sit there and watch TV. We're just not going to. So. Uh, and after all these years, you know, we kind of have the perfect mix of we have Hulu Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime is just kind of automatically there. Uh, we have uh, HBO Go through means. And we don't, we're not, whenever we do get to sit down to watch TV, we're not out of things to watch. There's always something that's like, oh, what's new over here? What's new over here? You know, especially during the seasons here. And uh, in this, this always seems to happen. It gets towards the end of the season, and we just watched whatever, and it's Wednesday night. And I, last year I did this too, but we sat down and watched uh, the Arrow season finale. Uh, of course, I'm a big comic book fan and everything, so we're watching all the comic book shows. There's so many this season. There will be so many more next season. I'm curious your thoughts on the Supergirl trailer that just came out. Uh, I like it. But anyways, girl power. Uh, but... So I, I get to do that. So, you know, understand, like, with Hulu, I get commercials, and it's like, oh, I got three commercials in between this break. Ah, oh, geez, what's going on here? You know, and I'm belly aching over that, and I pay eight bucks a month for this thing. And for the most part, it has everything that I want to watch, and a couple of things I pay for Walking Dead, and that's, you know, really it. All that interests me that can't wait until Netflix, you know? Uh, just finished Halt and Catch Fire on Netflix. That j second season is going to be coming out here in a couple weeks. And uh, but I'll wait, you know, I want to watch it, but I don't need to watch it right away. I got plenty of stuff to do and watch in the meantime. I'll, I'll catch it in, in six months a year, but I'm, I'm very patient, I guess. But we sat down and we watched Arrow and this was the thing last year. I know I was just horribly peeved at I can't believe people watch TV like this anymore. Uh, you know, when you're watching TV, I'm kind of want to be invested in the thing I'm watching. If I'm going to watch something like an arrow, like a flash. And when you're watching network TV or if we're watching a cable network, something like that, just watching the stuff pop up in the corner and sometimes just more and more annoyingly. So, you know, I, I watch WB networks live stream and sometimes you have a wrestler pop up and say, Hey, NXT's next, you know, and they'll do something and they'll go away. It's like, okay, that, that, that's, that's fine. They don't do it to an annoying thing, but it, it seems like throughout a show that's completely serious. It's let me know. Hey, vampire diaries. Hey, flash season finales next week. Hey, this last year when we were watching it, they were advertising whatever movie was coming out. I want to say edge of tomorrow. And they were actually little mini trailers popping up in the corner to say, stay tuned for the extended trailer on the break. And, and, it's, and it's like, well, I'm watching the show. Of course, I'm staying tuned. I'm not here for your commercial. Anyways, but I mean, that's all part of the method to grab your attention uh, for whatever they're advertising at the time for other things on the show, because Arrow is probably one of our highest rated shows, I would imagine. So this versus we get a clean experience on on Hulu. I had a conversation with uh, Mike over at Wrestling Mayhem Show and uh, Rambling Movie Minute, and uh, we were like, "Yo, know, did you see the Did you see the trailer?" I'm like, "No, I didn't see the trailer for Flash. I like going in clean." Actually, to that point, I saw the trailer for the season finale of the Flash, and I'm disappointed. 
I feel like I know what's going on going into it. I would have rather just popped in and say, okay, what do you got for me this week? The Flash. I don't have to anticipate it for a week. And then it will never hold up to your anticipation. That's why I hate trailers. When uh, there was so much stuff, some friends were watching the Avengers 2, like every feature they could find on the Avengers 2 leading into it. And I feel like that just dilutes it when you finally sit down. Uh, for me, at least, when you finally sit down to watch that movie, I feel like, well, I've, I've, I've absorbed so much content. And it's not like back in the day. I remember back in the day when like Batman Forever was coming out and I was just so big on the Batman movies at the time. And they're showing this and they're show they had like a half an hour special about Batman Forever on like MTV or something. And they showed like the mu- like the seal and the YouTube music videos and, you know, Kiss from the Rose. And uh, and it's still one of my still my favorite YouTube song. I don't really like YouTube, but, uh, you know, you you kind of garnered that excitement. And you didn't have like you had an opportunity. It's like I got to tune in tonight at ten o'clock to check this thing out, you know, to find out about this movie that's releasing in like next week. You know, there it seemed like you know there was we have too much access with the internet. And I know you know if I'm a super fan that would maybe seek out all that again, you're going to dilute it. And I feel like at that point, no movie can live up to all the hype you read going into it, or you get too much information and have already have a preconceived notion of, of whether this movie is good or not. And uh, the same with trailers. I, I'd rather just sit down and, and wait the week. If I have to wait a week, I'd rather binge anything, to be honest. If I had a choice, I'd rather binge just about anything. This Halt and Catch Fire show, I finished off most of the season here within three days. And it's so complex. Uh, you, know, I, you know, Walking Dead going a week to week, I keep forgetting who characters are. And half of them are zombies. So, uh, and the other issue was, I don't know if this is something with my local local provider. This is the CW. It's uh, Channel 19, I think, here in uh, in Pittsburgh. But uh, the audio was horrid. I, being a little picky, I'm sure, but. But the audio feed, you know, we went from watching something on Hulu. I think we were watching Agents of Shield, and and popped up into the TV version. And yeah, the picture is going to be better. The picture is better because anytime you have a live over the air stream, we have you know rabbit ears, you know, and, and that's it. And we get pretty good signal from most of those channels. Like WTAE is dead to me um, because of this. But uh, you know, the picture, okay, the picture, the picture probably looks a little bit better. Uh, you know, I don't really see much difference comparison point there. I think we get really good signal on our internet. We have twenty five, twenty five. With FiOS, so I, I don't see too many hiccups, uh, especially with Hulu. It's either all or nothing with Hulu. But um, but the audio was just the limits were pushed up. I had I had I had Missy saying, "What did they say?" I'm like, "I have no idea," because the background audio was pushed up so high over the talking that I was missing lines, and it was so loud, and everything was just so loud and pushed up to the breath. I can't couldn't believe how low I had to turn my TV turn it into a comfortable level and even then it was still just bothering me just absolutely bothering me and it should be again just like the video it should be the cleanest audio signal that you have out there but uh whatever they're doing at the stations you know we've we've talked about uh, not here or anything but there's been the discussion of you know you go to the commercials it's always just blasting right and there's a little bit of a regulation I, I think about or at least the TVs can do this as well that will level that out so it's not you're, you know because you always have a soft spoken show da 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 and then blah the new so- Swiffer soft white blah 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 and, and music and blasting and all this stuff and it just annoys you into submission people live like this Amazing. I can't believe we grew up with this kind of crap. But uh, but uh, the cool thing is, and you can say, well, I'm just going to pay for my TV. Why wouldn't I? I'm going to do this and that and the other thing. It's like, there's a day where you don't have to. You don't have to allow yourself to be subjected to all that kind of stuff. You can go pay for a Netflix and watch things there. You can go buy things piecemeal, and depending on how much you watch. And it really, I think a lot of people step back and like, well, I really watched this, this, and this, and this. And could you do without I think people don't know that they can do without that constant stream of turning the TV on is there. Yes, you have to use your brain a little bit more and decide, oh, that thing's over, put the next thing on, you know. Or maybe you have, like, I throw on my, my routine after I'm done with the, this show. Um, as for the background noise is I actually turn on my Amazon TV 
and uh, start with The Daily Show. And it's nice because it will do The Daily Show, the Larry Wilmar. Uh, it used to be Colbert, of course, and uh, and at midnight. And I don't have to think about it. It's on. I'm absorbing the news a little bit while I'm working away. You know, yes, that's how I get my news. That and Twitter, I guess. But uh, you can get that a little bit of that experience back. But you don't have you have the stuff you want to. And you can say no. You can veto that. I get done. Sometimes I'll throw up a Saturday Night Live and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to toss it over here. I'm going to toss it over here. You only got to think about something maybe every 22 minutes. And it's liberating. So. I don't have a conclusion to this. How are you watching TV? Are you uh, are you a cord cutter and have gone back to watch TV and started noticing things more? Let me know. At Sorgatron on the Twitter. If you find this post at Sorgatron.com, video and audio and Facebook. Uh, just my personal account on Facebook. Although I should probably start a page for this. I don't know if that would help or hinder it. I, I'm honestly not sure. But it's kind of nice to, like, I have this over here and I have no idea how many people watch it too because my stats work differently than the pages. So I'm still trying to figure that part out. But let me know what you think. Uh, how, what do you think of watching TV on a network in the, the normal the normal way of doing it uh, versus being a cord cutter and and uh, so much more uh, on all that stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. One more this week on Basic Sorgonomics. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.